Okay, this is part two. So continuing on, I should call this how to be a real estate thousandaire instead of a real estate millionaire. So the way to do it without going bankrupt and losing everything, perhaps maybe even losing a home, if you make really bad mistakes, is to not get into debt at all. Don't have credit cards, don't take loans. People say leverage, oh, that's the way to make millions. Well, yes, but it's also the risky way. And with no experience and being young, do you want to face living in a car, living, sleeping on a sidewalk and trying this leverage nonsense? Especially if you're not a straight A student. Okay, imagine you're a 4.0 or a straight A student. Yes, go ahead, get mortgages. And then, uh, you know, you're on your way five years from now. You could be a multimillionaire. But for the average person, okay, what I'm saying is don't, don't do that. Don't get mortgages except for your own personal family home because you're protected when it's your home. But when you get into real estate as a landlord and you use your home as collateral and then you get other mortgages and then... There's something called house flipping, which is buying cheap houses, renovating them and selling them. That's a good way to lose money, lose your shirt, make mistakes, um, maybe go bankrupt and live out on the street, have to sell your own home, plus sell the flipped home at a loss maybe because you didn't take into account certain problems with the neighborhood or with the house or as a rental. If you're not flipping, flipping a house, but you find a cheap place and then you discover, wow, this is a notorious drug house. It had a previous landlord that was, you know, a terrible person, criminal, causing trouble, and nobody wants to live there. And, uh, you know, some murders happen. Uh, it's uh, considered to be like a, a cursed house or, you know, um, you know, some kind of bad history. Now, you can overcome that kind of uh, superstition of course that's not the problem but it could be a problem neighborhood that uh, you know could be going downhill because of high crime and uh, economic issues in that town or neighborhood could could be going down uh, loss of jobs and loss of companies in that area and so therefore people don't have the money and so it's uh, much lower income than previously so there are just multiple, multiple issues, foundation cracks, um, even um, pollution, like di dioxin, uh, bad water, le uh, lead pipes for the city or township that uh, makes the water undrinkable, and uh, radioactive gas from the soil can also uh, cause trouble or, or uh, groundwater could cause deterioration of the foundations or the basement, whatever. So there are many reasons for flood, you know, being in a flood zone near the coasts as we get out of the ice age, the final gasps, edge of the ice age, and the poles melt, if they do, which seems very likely. Being near coasts and being close to the uh, sea level is another risk in the coming years, including this year, 2022. So these are all risky things and easy ways to go bankrupt and end up living on the street, on the sidewalk. So that's why I say, and other very wise financial advisors, I'm not a financial advisor, this is for educational purposes only, do your own research, probably get a financial advisor, but financial advisors will tell you don't borrow money to get into real estate, except for your own home. So how do you become a real estate thousandaire? Well, you can live in your own home for a couple of years. So establish it as your homestead and then find a cheap apartment to move into and then start renting out your home. But you need to get landlord insurance and be qualified for landlord insurance. Video number one, told about this 
how to do that so please like thumbs up and watch the other videos on real uh real estate millionaires and so on and so forth that i have just click on the amazing education channel by the way it's it's not about the uh, video on this as you notice i only have my phone it's about the information that will benefit you not exactly what you're expecting to hear and it's more about listening not the, not watching um, but it's critical information so how to be a real estate thousandaire for most of you that don't have a real estate background whatever watch the other video and then how to uh you know um do it without risking bankruptcy and debt is you need to have an actually good job or own a business or or have a service whatever at least part-time maybe full-time and so as I said, you can have your own house. You can rent rooms or some some separate space in that house. Have it perhaps renovated so the basement is a living space. That could, you could do that for less than ten thousand dollars, especially if you have the skills yourself. It could might cost you just a few hundred. Plus, of course, you need to get the space permitted and and do everything legally. So get you know get a five star or definitely above four point two star. Um, uh, construction company to at least verify that what you've done is legal correct and a good good living space that meets all the zoning and other housing regulations and then you're on your way to um, being renting space in your home so that in probably two years you could qualify for landlord insurance but you need to get in insurance before that but then once you have landlord insurance and you save up enough money, as I said, you could rent out your entire home and move into an apartment, like a rental spot, or move into a second home, and then you rent your entire home, and you can continue to do that. And uh, that's how you go. So you can live in a 